Hello everyone, welcome to the webinar. Um, so my name is Becky, I work for a Salesforce Silver Partner in Newcastle which is called ION. Uh, we specialise in platform services, so that's Salesforce and financial transformation. Thanks very much for joining. If you didn't catch the first webinar, we covered some dead straightforward reports uh, that should help you keep an eye on your team remotely. So we identified which accounts to focus on using a value filter report and by saying when an account was last contacted, thanks to the part of Einstein Analytics. Uh, a recording of it is available on our new YouTube channel if you missed it or if you would like to follow it along whilst creating your own. Today, we're going to create a sales KPI dashboard. So this will help you see the big picture. We want to see how much business each rep is closing, what each rep's pipeline looks like, and how each rep has performed on past deals. This time I'm using a trailhead playground with test data loaded in. If you're new to Salesforce, trailheads are their online education platform and it's free to use. Um, dashboards allow you to present multiple reports side by side using visualized components. So to start with, we need to build a simple report. We're going to use this report as the basis for our other reports, so hopefully you'll see how these all marry together. So to begin, we're just going to go into reports and we're going to create an opportunity report. So remember, reports in Salesforce are really easy because they use this wizard. Um, so it starts from the moment you click new report and it's just asking us here which type of report we would like to create. So just create an opportunities report, continue and save so opportunity pipeline and we'll just save it in a public folder so that everyone else can see it um, so we have a new a uh, few new names on this webinar so i'll just quickly run you through the anatomy of a report um, so the outline pane which is just here makes adding removing and arranging columns much easier so it's just drag and drop. Um, you can also add bucket columns and summary formula columns in the outline pane. We are gonna be adding a summary formula in um, one of the next reports, so just stay tuned for that. Um, filters here allows you to set the view, time frame, and custom filters to limit the data shown in a report. And then this is our preview pane here. Um, it's a dynamic preview that makes it easy for you to customize your report, so just like a spreadsheet. So you can add, reorder, and remove columns. The preview shows only a limited number of records, so if it doesn't look right, make sure you run the report to see all your results. So we're gonna keep this simple and just save and run. Um, so we're basing other reports on this one and we'll do more customization then. Um, but then we can just click into reports and find it here. So it's our opportunity pipeline. So now we're gonna move on to our first modified report. So we'll just click this and click edit. Um, this is going to be our pipeline by rep report. So as I mentioned earlier, this is built in a trailhead playground, so it's full of test data. All the opportunities belong to myself and my completely made up colleague. You would usually have more than two people in an org, so things would look a little more full. Um, we'll find our report and just save as, um, you can save as at the end, but I'm a little bit absent-minded and have uh, written over my other report, so I'll just save at the beginning. I'll call this pipeline by rep. Save. And now we will add some filters in. So. Obviously a pipeline is only made up of open opportunities as opposed to close one or close loss. So we'll just adjust that filter. We just want to see the open ones. And I'm going to change the range to all time. So as I mentioned before, it's really easy to move your fields. It's just drag and drop. Uh, so I'm just going to move opportunity owner below opportunity name an account name below, oh, there you go. And you can just see how it updates in the dynamic preview here then. Um, so I'm gonna add in stage duration. That's how easy it is to add in a field. And I'm just going to, I'll move that below stage. That seems like it might make more sense to sit there. And 
then I'm going to group rows by the or opportunity owner. So we'll just group by this field. And then we're going to add a summary field. Um, so I'll just find a mount. So I'm going to summarize by this field. So I just click summarize, sum. And as you can see at the bottom there, there's our summary. We'll just save that one. And if we click out of reports, we can see pipeline by rep is just sat there. So I'm going to modify this one now. So I'll just click edit and save as. So this one is going to be sales rep win rates. You can see how many practices I've done there. Um, so obviously the way we would see the reps that are most likely to close deals is we'll look at what their win rates so far have been. Um, so this is a fun one because it uses a summary formula column. So you just need to make sure your report data is grouped before adding a summary formula and um, you need at least one of those for it to work. Um, so just double check, we've grouped by opportunity owner, haven't we? And see if it's fine. Mm -hmm. We'll just change the filter. So the win rate, um, it's only going to apply to opportunities that have been outcomed. Um, so that's closed one or closed loss. So we'll just change that to closed. And I'm just going to remove a mount. Where's the mount? There it is there. So I'll remove mount. Um, yep, it's grouped by opportunity owner and now I'll add a summary, col uh, summary column to show the win rates by each rep. So I go to columns, more actions and add summary formula. So we're going to call this, this is another little wizard that'll help walk us through again. So this is going to be win rate, description of it is the ratio of one opportunities to those opportunities. I want to see this as a percent. And just check in the display, it's at all summary levels. Um, so I want to select one. I'm just going to insert and then we want to divide that by closed insert and then we just click validate and it's valid so we shall apply it and i'm just going to knock these details off and there you can see my win rate is 82.35 percent so we shall just save that one and now we're going to modify our oh, save that again now we'll just modify our final report and then we'll move on to the dashboard. So I want to modify my opportunity pipeline report and I'm going to save this as close business year to date. And I want to grip my information by opportunity owner. I want to summarize my information by amount. I want the range to be the current financial year and the opportunity status to be closed one. I'm just apply that. So I'm going to hide the details and I'm going to save and run. So there we go. Um, now we'll just move on to creating our dashboard. So I'll just create a new dashboard. I'm going to call this Sales Manager Dashboard. Again, I'm going to save it in the public folder. And now we'll add our first chart. So I'm going to add a gauge chart. 
So I'll just add a component. Um, so our wizard is back and it is asking me which report I'd like to pull the information from. Um, so for this one, we shall select close business year to date, gauge chart, and I'll just check the measure of some of them out. Yeah. And it'll pull through the title usually. Um, so I'm just going to segment the ranges. Obviously, we're working in millions here. Um, so let's hope I get the number of zeros correct. So I'm going to go from our first range is 2 million. Second range is 3 million. And was that? Fingers crossed. Yep, there we go. I've got that right. Wonderful. And I'm just going to add that in now. So you can move these about. You can resize them. There you go. You can make it bigger. You can actually on this one, you can change the colors of the um, gauge. So there, I can change that to gray if maybe red's a bit harsh. Just cancel that. We'll stick with the red though. So that's our closed business year to date. That's our first widget. And now I'm going to add another one. So this time I'm going to use the pipeline by rep report. I think I'm going to use a vertical bar chart for that. So the y axis, I've got my opportunity owner. The, I'm oh sorry, x axis opportunity owner, y axis, I want some of the amount. And the title of that's pipeline by rep. Yep, wonderful. So just add that in. It's a best practice, probably, would at this point be to just give it a wee save. So we'll just do that. And I will add another chart component. So using our sales rep win rate report, I'm gonna, I'll just leave it as it is, as that bar. Um, we'll not change anything, we'll just pop that big one in. So I'll just resize this so that that fits. There we go. Um, so as you can see there, we've got um, a chart for each modified report there. Our original report, um, which was our opportunity pipeline. Um, so to add um, a visual chart, you need to have your data grouped by something. Um, so because we didn't group by anything in this opportunity pipeline, all it will allow me to add in is a table. So I'll just add that in for you to see what it looks like. There you go, so we'll just save that and click done. So obviously um, you can add dashboards um, into your home screen. So that's what it would look like um, if you wanted to have that table in place. I don't really like it, so I'm gonna remove it. And I'll just quickly show you um, how to add um, just a metric um, so that we can see more detail on the closed business year to date figure. There we go. So, closed business. So, there we go. Our metrics here. And we can just show that as the full number then. We'll just add that in. Come on, up you come. There we go. And we'll just make it nice and big. So, you could change that 2.2 million there so that it wasn't showing you the shortened number. You could show the full one. But for the sake of this, we just want one big standalone number. So, um, I'll actually just show you. So, if you're interested in the color palettes, you can change the colors of your report. So, this is ocean, uh, pond. That sounds lovely. I quite like that lilac. So, I'll just save that. That's done. And there you have it. We can find our dashboard here. So you're getting a live view. Anytime you go in, you just press refresh and it pulls through all the live information from your reports. So that's us. Um, we've smashed through four reports there. I've shown you how to modify pre existing reports, um, a summary formula column, and we've added them into a beautiful sales KPI dashboard. 
I hope you've enjoyed, as always, feedback or requests for what you'd like to see in the next webinar is welcome. There will be a, a record of this available on our brand new YouTube channel. So thanks for joining and stay safe.